Hi. Hi guys. It's Carol and Casey and the dogs. And Toby. <laughs> he wound up. He is. We've had a an afternoon nap and now he's ready to play. So you'll see a lot of balls or toys or something coming by. Uh I wrote down some things to talk about. First of all, today for lunch, my other daughter Becky came and one of her sons, my grandson Travis, who's 20, 20. he got to come for lunch and uh, that was nice. We hardly ever get to see Travis. He works and is 20. <laughs> you know. Yes, there's a ball in my lap. Um, I made barbecue shredded chicken and somebody, I guess it was Becky, made the potato salad for me. Yeah, Becky's <coughs> potato salad. <coughs> Oh, Molly's going to bark at Toby now. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the first recipes I ever tasted. <laughs> Molly. <laughs> on, Come here, Molly. Come here. On uh, my channel. If you go to my playlist and then down to recipes, it's one of the very first ones I did. I love barbecue chicken. And I love my potato salad. I make it weirder than anybody else. Yeah, I didn't realize we make it odd, but <laughs> I, that's how I love it that way. We just do mustard mayo and sweet pickles. I didn't realize sweet pickles were a hot thing. Oh, and yeah, boiled eggs. And, and then bell pepper garlic. and a little bit of onion. I like the purple onions the best. Did you? Know? you? Or red onion. Is it purple onion or red onion? I don't know, but whatever it was, it was expensive. That's the first time well, I ever bought one. it tastes so much better raw <laughs> than white than onions. Than a white onion. I think it's worth a little extra money. Well, anyway, if you want to know how I make barbecue chicken and potato salad, it's super easy. You do it in the crock pot and you don't have to do much. But I love that, and we had that for lunch. Usually when we have that, I have Bush's baked <laughs> rice, but I didn't have any today. Molly is barking at Toby because he's playing <laughs> and he's bothering her. It's bothering her. <laughs> <laughs> and um, besides the potato salad, I wanted to make a pasta salad. You're going to have to help me with rats, I forget. Okay. If I ever ask my grandkids what they want me to make for lunch, Taylor will say enchilada casserole. And Rhett will say pasta salad. I'm sick of his pasta salad. We have it so much. And I tried to think of what we put in it. We just, it just happens automatically. But we make boil pasta. And then we put fresh broccoli in it. Mm -hmm. We used to put um, carrots. Carrots and cauliflower. But we haven't done cauliflower <laughs> forever. Yeah, I don't think we like <laughs> cauliflower as much. And they don't like the they love to dip baby carrots and ranch, but they won't eat it when we put pieces in the, I don't know, in the pasta salad. salad. It's different for some reason. We put tomatoes and celery, if I've got it. Mm -hmm. And I think when we first started making it, we put bacon. We used to crush like bacon. bacon, but then we stopped because we didn't want to always cook the bacon. <laughs> we actually hardly ever buy bacon. So, But anyway, so Red's pasta salad is pasta... But always broccoli and cheddar cheese, mm -hmm. shredded cheddar cheese, and tomatoes. Or cubed. And I've never had cubed cheddar cheese. I've done it once. <laughs> I don't do it because Taylor doesn't like it, but I like it. And celery if we have it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we take one of those Hidden Valley Ranch mix, Powdered packets, mix. Yeah, that you mix with. I think you're supposed to mix it with Miracle... Um, Mayonnaise, but I like Miracle Whip, so we do that. I like mayonnaise. Anyway, we do the whole recipe for that mix and dump it in the pasta. It makes a huge bowl, <laughs> and we eat it for days. Um, but that's Rhett's favorite pasta salad, but I'm, I have gotten tired of it. So I looked on Pinterest and I looked at, I don't know, numerous Italian pasta recipes. And so today, Rhett and I just kind of made... Up as we went, I cooked bow tie pasta, or Casey cooked the bow tie bow tie pasta, and then uh, I chopped up black olives, green olives, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, uh, the red onion you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Rhett cut up pepperonis to put in it, and we had tomatoes and some leftover broccoli, fresh broccoli, and then I put. Uh, we put about half a package of mozzarella, shredded mm -hmm. mozzarella, and half a package of shredded parmesan, parmesan. and tomatoes. Um, 
I really intended to put celery. I had the celery in the fridge. I intended to put grated carrots, didn't do that either. And I bought a cucumber just to put in there and for a green salad. I think a cucumber would have been really good in it, but we just didn't. We got tired. <laughs> it, 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 I, I was done shopping. I have cut myself on every, every time I've used one of my new knives, I've cut myself somewhere. <laughs> So Rhett took over Not today. Not the nice <laughs> Rhett says, Grandma, let me do that. <laughs> After he got me a Band-Aid and helped me. Uh, but anyways, I loved that Italian no, pasta. No, I did too. We put way too much pepper in it, but... Bell pepper? Yeah. Oh, let me show them. I love bell pepper, but it gives me heartburn. This is not a sponsored video, but these things work great. It's Alka-Seltzer, calcium carbonate and acid, extra strength, heartburn relief, chews. They taste good. It's like a big Skittles, and they work, and it's not chalky. I hate chalky things. But anyway, that's what we did today. We had lunch with Becky and my grandson and my other two grandkids, and I didn't film the thing because when we're cooking lunch, my kitchen's little, and... It's hectic with more than one person in there, and there's always more than one person and three dogs, <laughs> usually. So I didn't film anything, but that's what we did today. We had lunch with them. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to eat healthier and not have sugar so much. And I love sugar, but Casey has fibromyalgia that's bad for her fibro. And I'm addicted to sugar. Me it's going to be hard to get off the sugar. And sugar causes inflammation, so that upsets my arthritis. Plus, it just makes you fat. But I'm trying. Um, I, My daughter, granddaughter, Taylor, went to the grocery store with me today. I hardly ever go in the grocery store, but she and I went to get uh, the pepperoni to put in this salad and some other stuff. Anyway, she she <laughs> she said when we pass by at the end of this row where the cheese is at our little Walmart, they have um, cakes. <laughs> she tell me, Grandma, don't look, don't look. <laughs> Got to the cookie aisle, don't look, Grandma, don't even go down that way. <laughs> she was not going to let me get sugar. And uh, what my granddaughter told me, I need to try to give up Dr Pepper. Um, but it's hard for me to do. And when I get stressed or have awful anxiety or panic attacks or something, what I want is a Dr. Pepper. Um, but Taylor told me that her mama bought them a case of sparkling water that's fruit flavored. I don't like it. I've never had tasted taste of sparkling water. Why didn't you like it has no sugar in it. So it's, oh, that's it. It's that's that's what I don't like. <laughs> that or they get um, ones with a sweetener in it, and I do not like the sweeteners. I don't know what they had. They had Red brought one today. Mm -hmm. and I was, It had a diet taste, aftertaste. He loves the, he had a mandarin orange, and he, he like, really likes them, but I tasted it. It has that diet after taste that. Mm -hmm. Some people don't mind at all, but I just cannot get used to it. I meant to ask Rick to pour me just a, one drink in a little glass mm -hmm. so I could taste it, but then they were, this apartment is just hectic. There's always lots going on anytime we're doing anything, it seems like, and I forgot to ask him to let me try. But he likes mandarin orange, and Taylor told me she likes cherry limeade, and something else. I forgot what. She swears Black the cherry, cherry wine may taste just like Sonic's. But it does not. <laughs> Maybe other people think that. I don't know. Well, I'm going to buy Thank some you. just to try to help me get off of okay. <laughs> Dr. Pepper and all that sugar. You know, I decided I was going to quit drinking Cokes, I guess, three years ago. And I went, I worked really hard. It was hard. I would drink at least a 32 ounce, if not two, a day. And I finally just decided I'm just going to quit. And after making it a week, I didn't even want one. And I lost 15 pounds that month. And then I slowly started drinking Cokes again. And I gave that all back. But 
I know <laughs> you can do it. If you just if you make it through one week, then you won't want one anymore. I know. My problem is I don't want to do it. I want my dog. <laughs> Toby's barking at us because his ball has gone under the couch. Yes, I'm going to go get his ball. Because <laughs> he will not leave us alone until we get the ball out from under the couch. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to try sparkling water. Do you guys, does anybody out there drink sparkling water? What brand do you like? What do you think about it? Uh, Sam's has them on sale now. It's $3 off a box, I think. Oh, okay. Um, that's where my daughter-in-law got it for, for the kids. Uh, and I ordered ginger ale from Sam's. We did a... Which has a lot of sugar in it. I know, it's sugar. I um, seem to think ginger ale must be healthier because we always drink it when we're sick. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of... I, I, well, the ginger is supposed to I settle your stomach. <laughs> But I like ginger ale, and what I they, too. they had was a box that had summer flavors, um, lemonade, lemonade ginger ale, cherry lime ginger ale, and black raspberry, I think. Anyway, I ordered that, but they were out when we went to pick up the order, but I'm going to try it again, because after you got the order home and I looked, mm -hmm. it says they have it available. Well, I wonder how it I guess it? they got more after they fixed our order. Maybe. Anyway, I'm going to try sparkling water. Let me know what you think about it if you drink that. Um, oh, I know somebody who um, has cancer and has been through a lot of chemo. And it's... Um, chemo is probably not the best thing for this person. It's not helping as much as it should. So they have considered not having any more chemo and they've bought a motor home and are going to go have a fun life um and i read a book i want to tell um this lady about the book i read and i can't think of the name of it i hope you can think of it for me it's a true story about a lady who has inoperable cancer and she does not want to do chemo so she told her family she's taken the money that she would have spent uh, in the hospital and on chemo and bought an RV of some kind. I don't remember what kind. And uh, one of her sons, I guess he was retired. I don't really remember the story. But anyway, one of her sons drove her all over the country until she passed away. She said she knew that'd be a lot more fun than being in a hospital taking chemo and still pass away. <laughs> anyway, I want to tell my friend about that book, but I can't think of the name of it, and I can't find it. So if any of you read that book, let me know what the name of that is. Um, oh, would you go get the last book or two I read? Mm -hmm. They're right there in front. The... Cozy Mysteries by Sally Goldenbaum. I really, really, really enjoyed those. I only have three of them, I think. Um, but there's a lot more in the series. I think 11, actually. My library doesn't own all 11. But next time we get books, I'm going to order the rest of the Sally Goldenbaum. Yes, A Fatal Fleece I read. The Wedding Shawl. Moon Spinners. This was probably my least favorite of them but they were all really good and then there's another book over there uh it's got four ladies that fell over dead on a bridge table <laughs> at first when I started reading that one I didn't think I would like it the first couple of pages I thought oh I don't like this uh, maybe I've got it over here no that's something else you don't see it maybe under, right in front of the TV? Under the kids' clothes, no. Anyway, I don't remember the name of that. Casey, right in front of the TV, did you look at those two? There's only one more here. That's, oh, that is it. Um, the web books all over the place. Uh, Casey picks up library books for me because I just can't go in a library. I worked in one for 20 years and I was devastated when I got sick and had to retire. And I... Uh, for years, just driving by a building, a library building made me ball, and I just can't go in. So Casey gets library books for me. But anyway, this one 
I really liked it after I um, got past the first several pages. The author's name is R.J. Lee, and it's first in a new series, but you know, this was several years ago. It's not like brand new right now, because I think there are three more that my library owns. Um, oh, this was published in 2019. Well, there's been more. Anyway, Grand Slam Murders. I need to figure out how to turn the... You do something on the cell phone so that when I hold it up like that, they can actually read it. It's, it comes out the right way. Oh. I did that on another cell phone, and then this one I haven't figured it out. But anyway, Grand Slam Murders, A Bridge to Death Mystery by R.J. Lee. I really liked it. Uh, this one I never would have gotten figured out who done it. Um, the premise is these four older ladies play bridge once a week and um, she has a maid and she has a gardener <laughs> not like my life <laughs> I need the maid <laughs> um, anyway uh, she has these four these three other ladies come over to play bridge that she she formed this bridge club and she only allows the other three ladies to be in it anyway they came over to play bridge in one day and the maid brought out the tea and the sugar bowl and she had prepared everything. She stirred the sugar in the cups for these people. They all took a drink and killed over dead, all four of them. Uh, I, I never would have figured out the ending on this. Whoever this guy is did a good ending. I'm gonna look up, I'm gonna stop here look up the, some information and tell you about R.J. Lee because he wrote another series under a pen name. Why do they do pen names? If I had known, I read his other series, I really like it, and when that happens, I always look up that author, you know, search on my library website, put in the author's name and see what other books they have by him. Well, when I read the other series, they didn't have any more by him, but that's because that was a pen name. His name is really R.J. Lee. Um... I wish they wouldn't do pen names because then I don't know how to find them if they've written other things. Anyway, I want to tell you about him, so hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, took me forever and a day to find this information, but he, R.J. Lee, also wrote a six-part series called The Cherry Cola Book Club, uh, which is, is about a Mississippian librarian. And I really liked that series, Cherry Cola Book Club. And the name he used was Ashton Lee. Now, R.J. Lee is actually also a pen name. His real name is... I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, his real name is Robert. And the last name is K U E. H-N-L-E. I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyway, uh, he's, also, he's from Mississippi, and he started out um, working for a newspaper, and he now he's written a lot of books, a lot of books. But anyway, the Cherry Cola Book Club, written under Ashton Lee, was a good series. And I didn't know that this, the man that wrote this was the same person, or I would have gotten these books a long time ago. Anyway. Grand Slam Murders, a Bridge to Death mystery series. Good book. Uh, Casey was going to tell you something about, tell them what you just said about the pasta salad. She ate some while I was... Oh, we had Fritos <laughs> sitting out. And at lunch I thought, Fritos sounds good with this. I don't know why. And then I just fixed me a bowl for dinner. And I want to immediately start craving Fritos. And then I realized I think it needs something crunchy in it. Well, next time, crunch, and crunch, crumble so. you up some Fritos in Maybe. it. Maybe. I'll try that, too. I didn't really like the pepperonis in it as much. But I don't like pepperonis unless they've been, like, baked on a pizza. Or... I'm not a real big fan of pepperonis. Maybe either. if we got those little mini pepperonis, I don't know. Every Italian pasta recipe I looked up on Pinterest had, had pepperoni in it. That's why I got that. I thought we'd try it one time. Okay. Um... The other only other thing I have to talk about is my 50th high school class reunion is coming up. I graduated in 1972. I'm not going to go. I think she should go. I went to my... I didn't
didn't know you ever went to one. I went to one. It must have been my Hi, sweetie. 25 year reunion that Debbie and I went. Oh. Debbie was my friend. We met when we were in fourth grade and we were friends until she died when she was 52. I was 52 as well. But anyway, she made me go to. It would be hard to go without her. Without. Yeah, and the people I went to high school with, they were nice, but I wasn't a popular kid. My senior year was a horrible year for me. That's the year I first started having panic attacks, but I didn't know what they were at the time. I, it was not a happy year for me. Um, I just have no desire to go to my high school reunion. But they they are selling a biography of our class for ten dollars. I think I'm going to order one of those. Hmm. I've got a form for me to write something to send to them, so I'm going to do that. Do you go to your high school reunions? I just uh, I just don't want to. Uh, and you know, she's not upset at Toby. <laughs> She does that when she's fussing at Toby. She is not injured. <laughs> These are the noisiest dogs. Toby talks nonstop. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. <laughs> and Molly squeals, and Andy has this foghorn bark <laughs> and this crazy sound when Casey's gone and she comes home. What kind of sound is that? <laughs> And it's half between halfway between a howl and a bark, kind of. And a cry. A cry. <laughs> it's loud and horrible. Well, anyway, uh, you know, I've told you I don't watch the news because, honestly, I, on these videos, I don't look like it, but I'm really fragile. Um, I don't watch the news because every sad thing just hits me really hard. Um, but you, you can't turn on the TV to watch a TV show without seeing some kind of news somewhere along there. You can't get on, uh, I do a lot of searches on Google. Will you see news there? Uh, when I, uh, log on to YouTube to, and watch my, the ones I subscribe to, there's still always news in there. You know, you, you'd have to live under a rock to never hear any news. And so, you know, I live in Texas. The massacre, massacre in Uvalde, it just, I had nightmares all night last night. I didn't sleep well, and I just have not had a good day, and I don't want anybody to tell me about it. The little bit I have seen, I know how many children and teachers were killed, uh, but I don't want to know anymore, and I, and today, I got a glimpse of something that said the police officers didn't go in for an hour. Well, you know, I think highly of every police officer, firefighter, any kind of uh, emergency personnel. I, I think I am police officer's biggest supporter, but if my grandkids had been in that school and they knew a shooter was in there, and the police were standing inside, I would have gone in through a window, something. I would have been going in there. I don't know how. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. But anyway, uh, that just broke my heart. Uh, that if my grandkids had been in that school, I would have found a way to get in. And, you know... Well, it takes one person to tackle him and at least stop the madness till other people could come help. I don't know. But anyway, oh, tell them a story you told me. You, you, remember you asked me if it would bother me if you told me about the little boy that didn't want the shirt? Well, um, I just read a story that this, this mom asked this boy if he wanted this shirt that glows in the dark. And he said, he told his mom, I, can't, I don't want to wear that to school because if there was a shooter... And they had all the lights out, and the shooter would see him. I'm sorry I told you that. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, you know, the things our kids, grandkids, children of this day and time have to deal with is just horrible. I was thinking about when I was a little kid, 
our biggest sin was talking in class, passing notes, and chewing gum. <laughs> you know, that's what we worried about. Were we going to get caught passing a note or chewing gum? I remember when I was in junior high. We we didn't have middle school. We called it junior high. Um, if girls' dresses weren't long enough, you got sent home. And one time, what they did is, at my school is, a teacher would think your skirt was too short, and so he would ask you to kneel on the floor. Well, of course, we didn't know to say no. <laughs> I mean, that was that was not happening. And I remember one time that my English teacher asked me, his name was Mr. Growl, <laughs> asked me to kneel on the floor so he could check my dress. And if it didn't touch, touch the floor, you had to go home and change. That was, whoa, that was too wild. <laughs> And I had to go home and change my clothes. I was mortified. <laughs> I was mortified. I couldn't wear pants to school until I was a junior. We had, you had Girls had to wear dresses. Um, but I thought about that. Our biggest fear was our skirt wouldn't be long enough. <laughs> uh, and what these little kids have to deal with is just awful. Well, Casey, uh, Toby's got another ball under the couch. I'm going to stop right here. I hope you have a, a good Memorial Weekend. Um, I don't feel right saying Happy Memorial Weekend because it's not a happy occasion. Memorial Day is to honor the military members who died while in service. That's what Memorial Day is for. It's not really furniture sales and barbecues. Um uh, so on Monday, while you're having doing everything else, try to remember the service members who gave their lives so we can enjoy our freedom. Okay, bye. This is the pasta salad Rhett and I made in my favorite bowl. I absolutely love this bowl. I got it at a garage sale. I had two of them and I broke one. But anyway, I just love this bowl. I love the green it looks like an emerald to me but anyway here's my pasta salad in the description i'll list the ingredients for both pasta salads that i mentioned okay this is really the end i appreciate you guys if i could have a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what's going on with you guys i'll see you in the next video